Hello guys, it's GeeseQuest16. Welcome to what will be the final video for Mario Party 6 board playthroughs as I show the final final extras and show the credits and close the project out. Okay, first up, we're going to go to Option Mode. Basically, um, in every Mario Party game, um, we can change settings here. Here, nothing too special. Um, basic uh, options mode for Mario Party. You can well, the only thing you can adjust the mic settings, you can turn the mic on or off. You can adjust the controller's rumble feature, switch between Mario, st mono, stereo, and surround. Um, you can see what sets of minigames are in here, which has all the minigames. Easy, action, hard, and the weird. Yeah, apparently... Insector Ride is a uh, Smash Dance. Yeah, Mario Goes Up is a weird game because that game is just yeah. Well, the daytime version, but the nighttime I like. Okay, you can view all the records here. You can view the board records, like for all the boards. Yeah, you yeah, as you can tell, I haven't played this game this much because I got this game back in 2011 and then really haven't start really playing it until like late 2013, 2014. Well, I'll get into it. I played it a couple of times when I got it, but not till then. When I went to try to unlock all the stuff. And also, you can view the mini game records. And also, the records for solo mode. And my bonuses. And there's a couple of bonuses I haven't got yet. And well, another one, three, four. Ooh, wow, there's actually a lot of bonuses I haven't gotten in solo mode, but. Okay, and okay, and the Decathlon records, um, my Decathlon records, uh, record for Endurance Alley, yes, I had a 20 game winning streak, yeah, and that's it, for records, um, you can listen to Mario Party 6 music, and it, and I have about all the songs yet from the Star Bank, and you can test your mic here. So, okay, I'm gonna do this. Woo! Woo! Okay, time to be Vic Flair back there. So, okay, that's option mode, folks. Now we go on to start with the Star Bank. Star Bank, you may notice with the some of the stars we got near the end of the boards, and of course, um, from other modes and solo modes in the last video. So, th so basically, this is where you spend your stars here in the stars bank. Star bank, excuse me. You can um, trade your stars for items like um, the Miracle Book, Toadette. Um, you get there's even a brutal and a harder difficulty. Uh, mushroom bus. Yeah, we'll go about a mushroom bus. So let's see what that is. Yeah, see out there. Depending on how many stars you got, you can actually spend it on whatever items you want. Mushroom bus is now yours for this. You can change the design. Oh, okay. You can change the design of the minigame tour bus. Okay. I think I'll check that out here. And there it's at. And right here, this is what you have to buy. Not what well, you got to buy to unlock Pokemon Toadette, but also the uh, meet the mode, the games that you buy, like in mock mode. Uh, the, here's the Sheer Terror Rare Mini Game. You got Endurance Alley, Two Player Block Star, and yeah. Now, the most important ones I've been trying to unlock, which I have, is all the pages in the Miracle Books. There are 20 pages. You can also buy uh, um, part sound checks, um, taunts, uh, mic secrets, and yeah. And also here, the, um, which one is it? Let me find it. Uh, Clockwork Tower. That's the one you have to buy for like 100 stars. Versus the final board, this is where you buy the last board for 100 stars here. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and view the Miracle Book. Actually, the Miracle Book shows all the pages of the uh, Miracle Book through the uh, Mario Party highlights. Okay, so this is what we got. And yeah, you can replay the prologue, so. Okay, Blooper Ahoy. Yes. Oh, look out! 
Contents. Okay, card crazy. Oh, our card out? Well, that's cool. We got the shot guy right there. Okay, page three. Circuit Maximus. Ah! Oh, really? You have to torture Lu Luigi and then his girlfriend Daisy's like, ah! And poor Luigi, man. He doesn't get the respect that he deserves. I swear. Okay, um. What was the name of this game? I forgot. Ah! Warrior, Waluigi, well, what are you doing there? <laughs> okay, next. Okay, speaking of Warrior, well, Waluigi. Oh, God. What was Sonette doing in that cage in the trapeze artist? Waluigi, well, what have you been doing, man? Moving on. And, um. Jeez, I forgot the name. Waluigi, what are you doing in the ground? Jeez, this thing is getting more and more ridiculous. <laughs> more funny. Okay, Pokey Punch Out, one of my favorite. Oh, really? You have to torture my man, Koopa Kid. Well, there's not a way he's going to go out since he's the last game that he will be as a playable character. Uh, bodybuilder. Oh, Waluigi, you idiot. You destroyed the robot. Okay, uh, throw me a bone. Let's see how this is going to turn out. And, yeah. Where's the, um, that one song? I can't think of the name, but... It's that would have been nice for there. Uh, okay. Uh, Mario taking a picture of the... Woman of his dreams, Peach. And then all the Goombas are shot in that shot game. There's Luigi picking around the corner there. Yeah. Okay. Hey, DK. Yeah. Oh, again, Luigi. Yeah, because um, DK rigged the game so Peach can win. Why? Because it's Princess Peach. We all know how much of a pain in the hind end Peach is in, in Mario Party. She hasn't been a pain in the hind end for me in this game. So, okay, what we got here? Oh. <laughs> All the frozen Yukikis and then Yoshi somehow found the uh, Shy Guys and got them. The one Shy Guys didn't do enough. It's like, eh, I'll just stand here. Okay, Treasure Trawlers. Let me guess, Luigi's gonna get the bomb on. Oh no, he got worse. He got the blooper. Again, Luigi's just get going through hell in this game. Really? Okay, Dust Till Dawn, Koopa Kid and Boo. DK! And there's the Koopa. What is up with these people peeking in? What are they, stalkers? Well. Okay, Smash Dance. Okay. Nothing too special there, just background change. Ah, uh, um. Trick or Tree. Oh! No, 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 something's a mist. Okay. See, Mario finds the gem as Peach gets what she deserves, a freaking bob on to the face. Finally getting what she deserves. Okay, uh, Daisy Road Treasy. And Mario get, and Mario set Mario's asses on fire. <laughs> and Luigi, look at Luigi and Wario, they're like, huh? And Peach is like, oh no! I was just gonna kidnap me again! Okay. And that sets up for another Mario game. <laughs> there you go, folks. They're pretty cool to uh, Super Mario Bros. Wii. Or New Super Mario Bros., whatever they call it. And Okay. Yoshi like is like, uh, ooh, what? The Yukiki got a cheap, cheap got Warrior Waluigi in the cabinets and Toadette having the little cake and Mario looking like, what? No, the cake is a lie. No wonder. Okay, catch you later. Ooh. Oh, man. It's Pe Look at Peach. I wonder if she's crying because of all the paper cuts she got. <laughs> oh, no, she spilled the letters. Never mind. Okay, Motown. Mowing the grass. And Peach acting as a sweeper. As a girl to grass catcher. That the baggers that you see in the back of lawnmowers. And I think... Yep, that's that's all the pages. 
Let's go back and review the epilogue. Now, the only way you can view the epilogue is if you buy all the pages for the Miracle Book in the Star Bank. Yes, yeah, so that's why I, that's why going through Infernal Tower is a must over and over again to grind. So, let's view the epilogue. Let's see if we can um, settle this feud between Twilight and Brighton. You feel the Star Bank. Maybe now Brighton and Twilight will settle their feud. Well, let's hope so. What's all this? Yeah, what is all this? Well, the Star Bank is packed with stars. Simply amazing. You got all those stars? Just for us? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. You must have been working hard to collect all those star all these stars. We're sorry for our quarrel across the fuss. We promise to get along. Get along. To show our appreciation, we'll do something special. Watch. Special? Let's see what this is. Lock, I guess they're, are they doing? They're lighting up the sky? Are they going to give us 999 stars? <laughs> DK. Donkey Kong is in the middle of eating a banana and then, oh, Bowser. I don't know, we look on Peach's face like, okay. Like, oh my god. Okay, the sky exploded in the burst of dazzling starlight. Everyone was awestruck. After that, Bryson and Twilight watched over Mario Party World until the end of the time. With all the stars twinkling in the sky, everyone got back to the party and as usual. Party on, folks. So yes, that is the epilogue. Okay, so there's one more thing left. And that is the credits. Uh it's in the end here. Okay, here we go. Okay, credit roll list, everyone who worked on Mario Party 6. Yes, we do. And with that, folks, this is Mario Party 6 board playthroughs. I'm going to close out the project here. Uh, I want to thank everyone who watched, the, who watched this project. And hope you guys had fun watching it. Through some of, the high, some of the high moments, the great moments in this game. And, of course, some of the low moments. And the WTF moments. To me, I think playing this game, I, I really like Mario Party 6 better than I did Mario Party 5. Because when I did Mario Party 5 last year, I had a horrible time. I just didn't feel like I had any fun doing that game, you know? I mean, I had some fun, but I wasn't in the right mindset with all the stuff that was going on one year ago. But this year, everything's changed. I've, I'm back to having fun again. I guess you could say I got my smile back. You see, last year I kind of lost my smile for all the stuff that was happening to me last year. But this year, playing this game, I had a lot more fun this year than I did last year when I did Mario Party 5. And I had a better board record than I did in the last game because I lost more boards in Mario Party 5. But in this one, I was at a record of 4 and 2. I won the first 4, but I lost the last 2, which is alright. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Now, of course, we still have a couple more Mario Party games to go over. And of course, the next one will be Mario Party 7. Now, that game, now that game I know more about on the GameCube games than, than 5 and 6. 7 is the one that I played the most on the GameCube. So, now as far as when I'm going to do Mario Party 7, um... That's still to be announced because I still gotta go through that game, unlock some stuff. I mean, I had everything unlocked, but I had to, but I had to get a new memory memory card after my last memory card for the GameCube got lost. So yeah, um, so yeah, Mario Party Seven probably won't be until next year because I'm gonna probably do one Mario Party game once a year during the summer because I feel like Mario Party is like more of a during the summertime because. Yeah, because I think uh, I think the summertime is a perfect time to do Mario Party projects, and yeah, Mario Party Seven probably won't be until the spring and summer of 2015. 
that might change. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, but as, but as far as I know, Mario Party 7 won't be to the spring and summer of 2015. So yeah, guys. Um, let's do all the credits here. Um, yeah, now some people say for Mario Party 7. Get back to that discussion. Um, some say Mario Party 7 is actually the the worst Mario Party game. Um, it's not the best Mario Party game, but I, to me, I think the worst would be Mario Party 5. And, okay, yes, Cup Rots of Characters deserve by Nintendo. But yeah, I just kind of like 7, but not as much as I do hate 5. Because Mario Party 7, to me, the boards take a lot longer to play. They're in a basic 20 turn game, so it's like you playing the game for like an hour and a half to two hours, basically, so. So yeah, we'll see how that turns out, but for right now, this is Mario Party 6 board. This has been Mario Party 6 board playthroughs. Again, thank you to all my subscribers and all the people who've watched this project, and hope you guys have fun watching it. And I will see you guys for future Mario Party projects. And of course, oh yeah, I should go ahead and mention next weekend, um, I will be back to my weekend let's play project. I have one planned for next weekend. So, so you guys, so I'll see you guys for that. So tune in. This is Geekscore 16 signing out. And I'm going to close this out by saying like I normally do in all the past Mario Party projects. By saying, keep on partying. Later, folks.